Um, yeah, if you know, if you know, uh, you're actually going to string them up because. <laughs> I can't help but love the fact that the tents are directly next to the BBC office for Leicester. If anybody around the Leicester or East Midlands or even further afield area has access to anything that can be loaned to this site, anything along the lines of solar power or a wind generated electricity or even a bicycle electric generator type device, there are multiple uses that that could get put to here. Uh, this evening it's quite quiet but the next several days there are cinema events planned there are many other things happening cinema type stuff you can't do in the daytime it has to be nighttime so if there were solar panels they would work perfectly well in the daytime they could charge electric devices that have batteries like mobile phones torches the like but having a projector could be a little bit more problematic. That's why I was thinking about a bicycle powered cinema. Uh, projectors nowadays, you can get them with the traditional very, very powerful white light bulbs, but they take a lot of power and are quite expensive, uh, the bulbs and the projectors. Or you can get the LED, light emitting diode, powered ones that take almost no energy at all they run from little small batteries they also because they don't have a big hot bulb are much smaller units and don't even have any fans because you don't have hot hot heat coming from a really ridiculously powerful bulb so them my idea is if anybody has a bicycle and if somebody has a broken electric hand drill that's battery powered, that's broken, maybe it's got a faulty battery or something, if you don't mind loaning it or donating it to the cause, I'm sure that we could bang heads together and get people able to have a bicycle where the back wheel, for example, is connected with the drill onto the back wheel and the power of the drill being turned by the wheel would cause the electricity to come back out through where the battery is supposed to be. If you do certain things with certain fuses, etc. And a LED powered projector and sound system could easily be powered by a bicycle. We've done it previously without it even being LED. It doesn't take much effort even to power a traditional projector but it's just far easier on a uh, bicycle if you're not having to grunt. <coughs> the solar panelling, etc. You see how open this area is. Very, very open. Lots and lots of land and the area ahead of me where you see the lights here and lights beyond. The space in between that is a slope. It just happens to be on the correct angling 
to pick up the sun. If I stand further down toward the light at the base here, you'll see the angling, possibly, <clears throat> where it is an incline. So, no need for solar panels to be stood up on anything. Literally, just lay them flat, leave them be. They could be used simply in the daytime through a controller to charge mobile phones, to charge batteries for torches, to charge, perhaps, car batteries that could be used after the fact when the sun goes away to power things like projectors and whatnot. But all these things, A, cost money, or B, uh, would require people to assist in the area. So any green campaigners in the area that have contacts, please, on the title of this project video, you'll see the ampersand on Twitter, or the at sign rather, on Twitter for Democracy AE. It stands for Democracy A and E, because democracy is in crisis. We don't live in a democracy anymore. We haven't done for an awful long time. This is now a corporatocracy, pretty much, where the corporations have all the power, and the corporations get to do anything they want. That's not a democracy. It's not a democracy when the House of Commons has folk in there running the country that are not commoners. When the controlling house, the House of Lords, has lords that have salinity, senile, rather, uh, lords, um, how are they supposed to be good for the country? They should stand down. When the lords are generally all male and white and elderly, that's not... Uh, a very well-rounded segment of society especially when some of the lords and it can't go with, without mention around here that one of the lords Jenner paedophile extraordinaire apparently is still a sitting lord or able to sit he hasn't been into the lords for a while but he is still able to sit and make decisions on folks' lives. Just a couple of years ago, when speaking about Nazi war criminals, he himself said, regardless of people's age, regardless of their mental state, they should face trial. Regardless of how long since the crimes were committed, they should face trial. All right, mate, um, it's your turn. It's been a couple of years since these alleged things apparently happened. And you said to ignore people's mental state. Okay, we'll do that as well. And it's time for you to get brought towards court. Uh, another ampersand at sign on the top of this title, you'll see, uh, is uh, towards one of the other guys on Twitter. And he is sharing out information about a, what would you call it, a petition to have the trial reconsidered again by the CPS. The previous director of public prosecutions has come out and said that whilst he was the DPP, there was no referral to him on such a serious matter. Janner was not brought to his attention. He should have been, but it wasn't brought to his attention. So go on to at Steve Topple, please, and have a look for the links to the uh, petition. I believe it's on change.org good people there and at 38 degrees etc Leicester police are doing quite a wonderful thing in that they 
have taken such a hard line against the CPS for the CPS deciding to not prosecute this lord. The CPS lawyers want to prosecute him. The police want to prosecute him. The public want to prosecute him. Everyone wants him prosecuted except the current director of public prosecutions. The current DPP is taking the make a little bit and proving just how bad democracy is in the UK. But guys, please, if anybody can help with anything to do with bicycle powered generators, solar paneling, anything at all like that, car batteries, preferably charged, please get in touch with at democracy AE and offer whatever help you can, please. It's very, very much appreciated. Thank you very much.